Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Tiffany, your retired librarian turned homeschool mom. And in this video, I'm going to look at uh, an amazing woman in science. I've previously done videos on Katherine Johnson. Um, in this video, we're going to look at another uh, computer person in history. This time, uh, a military woman by the name of uh, Grace Hopper, or specifically Rear Admiral Grace Hopper. And this is Grace Hopper, Queen of Computer Code, written by Lori Walmack and illustrated by Kathy Wu. So this story tells the tale and the life of Rear Admiral Grace Hopper, who a lot of people primarily know her for the little story of she invented the term bugging for having something in a computer. And in the case, this story is mentioned in this book actually had to do with a moth. A physical moth, not a computer bug, but a actual bug that was messing up with one of their their big computer servers, and they had to go combing through it to figure out what the heck was wrong, and yeah, and they the, it was a it was a moth who had gotten in there and was messing up the circuits. But this story tells um, the story of Grace Hopper. It starts off actually kind of later in life where she is writing code over and over again, and she realizes she's writing the same, when writing the program, she's writing the same code, uh, the exact same uh, code over and over again. Uh, basically, because you're trying to tell the computer to do partially the same thing as part of a program. So every time you want it to open a file or look at something, it's the exact same code. So she realized that she has been writing this code over and over again and decides to one, it's a waste of time, so she's irritated. You can kind of see this. She's the illustrations are very cool. Uh, they're very she gets it's basically very boring, and so she decides to start writing uh, computer uh, programming language to make things easier, and that's really part of what she's known for. She's writing some of the first computer programming languages. So then it goes back and tells this cute little story of how she decides to take apart all the clocks in her house and put them back together. Yeah, precocious little girl. And then moves on to her life, how she studied uh, throughout time. Still love the little girl putting things together, using engineering to create her dollhouse, and how she studied and studied and studied. And then she failed Latin in her exams. So she had to stay back a year and retake Latin. It also tells this kind of cool story. It does, I believe, do a quote. And yeah, it says, uh, some guy came with a biplane to go up in the air and she squandered $10 to go up there. And that's what it says. It's a quote from Grace Hopper. I squandered all my money. It cost $10 and we went up in the plane. So a little bit of an adrenaline junkie here. So, and then we have more stories. It talks about her showing people about water dispersion by getting in bathtubs filled with water and teaching a little bit. And then the war happened and she went to school. She became a teacher, which is pretty common of women uh, at the time. There wasn't really a lot of real academic jobs for women in the sciences back then. I mean, even in the like 50s and 60s, there, they just didn't exist. So she joined the military. And even though they basically got she was too old, I believe. I'm trying to think. Because, let's see. Yeah. She wanted to help her country and tried to enlist in the Navy. So, and she was too old. She was, Grace was too old and too skinny to enlist. She was 36 and weighed 105 pounds. So she was a middle-aged skinny woman and they didn't want to let her in but eventually they convinced she convinced them that they needed her and she basically went into if you remember some of my uh hidden figures reviews this was the dawn of the big computers so even early on in world war ii this is when they were starting a lot of the computer stuff and she was at the forefront of this and learned how to work things. And this is the story of the bug in the computer. And they're, let's say they're searching. This is the giant computer room where all the technology happens. 
at least it did and there you have the beautiful this is kind of a cool illustration you see the little moth right there and that's what they found that's what was stopping their computer from working was an actual bug so kind of a cool little story and they note first actual case of bug being found so that's where the term comes from it comes from them finding a moth uh, in the computer which I always think is very very funny and then it shows about how she started to write in computer language because she wants it to be easier I mean that's you have various illustrations she was very very creative and she would draw doodles so that's what this part of the book is she would draw doodles in some of the work and she wanted to make computers easier so she started writing computer code that would allow regular people to uh, use computers that was her goal she did she was actually forced to retire um, when she was 60 from the Navy but then they kind of called her back because they realized they needed her so and then she finally retired at 80 so she worked from her 30s into her 80s for the US Navy she was a rear admiral that's the reason she was real rear admiral Grace Hopper and she was very very good at computers and very very good at math so that's what this story does it's very creative and of course you have the back you have her timeline which is always good but that's what the story tells about it's the entail of a very very important woman in computing and math and science history uh, Rear Admiral Grace Hopper uh, this is a great book uh, particularly for young girls who want it who like science and I know even in my time I mean I mean I late 30s you were the stigma was still there that girls were not good at science yep as hidden figures <laughs> books really prove women of color really really good at math really good at science uh, and various other women Grace Hopper was one of them again and she went into the Navy in her 30s so that's another thing it's like she reached her peak into these computers as an older woman so that's another thing to teach kids keep striving for your dreams and again there's a story about her failing Latin and staying back to study so she could pass the exam keep persevering that's what I love about this book the illustrations are beautiful Grace Hopper is a great woman woman to look up to a great woman in science always big on the stem book particularly promoting girls in math and science so that's it for this review again this is I'll show it again uh, Grace Hopper the queen of computer code one of the first creators of computer codes a woman <laughs> a very very intelligent woman so that's it for this review I will link the Amazon uh, book uh, in the description and if you like this review I have multiple other reviews I have a whole series on the hidden figures which includes the picture book the actual novel and the film that went along with it talking about that I'm going to add a lot more book books on uh, women in STEM both uh, the African-American women as well as pretty much anyone I can get my hands on because that's a passion of mine and something I plan to teach my daughter about or any child so this is a great book not just for girls but for boys or anybody who's interested in computing because it talks about the history of early computing and of someone who's the one of the cornerstones of what how computers work today because she started inventing computer code she also invented the word bugging which is still a very very funny story but that is it for this review again I have a lot more other reviews I have mostly it's book reviews I'm gonna do I have some travel reviews eventually coming out once we can open up the world this uh, video is being done during the kind of end of the COVID-19 pandemic so travels not quite fully open yet but we will get there so as well as various homeschooling reviews but quite a few book reviews but that is it thank you Thank you.